In this morning's flu watch, parents' concerns over the H1N1 vaccine. More than 60 children in the United States have died from the H1N1 virus, so health officials say kids should be among the first to receive the vaccine. But a new Harvard School of Public Health poll shows nearly half of parents are not really ready to have their children vaccinated. Let's bring in our Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. The first wave of the vaccine consists of 2.4 million doses of the nasal mist, which is being distributed across the country right now. The injection vaccine is expected to arrive by next week. Now, the CDC stands behind the safety of the vaccine, but some, pa some parents are still worried. Across the country, parents are asking questions, like in Los Angeles, California, where doctors began administering the vaccine yesterday. I'd like to know what the difference is between the regular flu vaccine and what's inside of that versus what's in the H1N1 vaccine. And in Dallas, Texas, where 700 doses became available on Monday. I have a 13-year-old and a 10-year-old, and my concerns are is that I gave my kids the live flu mist, and they both got sick, like, the next day. So I was wondering, with the swine flu live mist, is it going to happen again? And in New York City, where kids were among the first to receive the vaccine on Tuesday. If my children are given the vaccine, I'm just wondering what the side effects will be, and I haven't been able to find out any kind of clear information on that. The good news is we have the answers now to all of those questions. Oh, let's, let's go to the first one, and that's that idea of are the ingredients in the H1N1 vaccine different than the re regular seasonal flu vaccine? Exactly the same. The only difference, Harry, between H1N1 and seasonal flu is mm -hmm. the genetic material or the strain. And again, officials have told us if H1N1 had started in January instead of April, it would be part of the seasonal flu vaccine. It would vaccine. be part of the, okay. Absolutely. All right. The other one, that second question from Dallas, can the child get the flu from the nasal version? Now, it does contain a live but weakened form of the influenza virus, but it's very rare to actually get full-blown influenza from that nasal mist. So right. you can get a little stuffy nose, a little flu-like symptoms, but it's not the actual influenza. And, okay, and the final question, the New York City one, side effects. Side effects usually short term are just redness at the injection site. But again, parents are worried about long term. The vaccine profile safety wise seems to bear out that it's pretty safe. All right, Dr. Ashton, thanks.